So we're going to be talking about night blindness in neuro-ophthalmology. And even though that's typically a retina problem, uh, sometimes it comes to neurop. So it's nyctanopia, not see at night, not see at night. So sometimes it's confused with nyctalopia, which actually means the opposite. But nyctanopia means you can't see at night. And as you know, the rods and the cones have preferential activity in the light and in the dark. And so when you have night blindness, it suggests that it's a rod problem rather than day blindness, which was a cone problem. The day blindness problem is called hemorrhinopia. And so if you have either hemorrhinopia, I can't see in the day, or nyctinopia, I can't see in the night, it suggests that it is photoreceptor. Rod for night and hemera day. And there's a lot of things that can cause this, but basically retinal dysfunction is, is what you should be thinking about when you have day blindness or night blindness, because the optic nerve really doesn't care about day and night. Only the rods and cones care about day and night. And the prototype disorder is vitamin A deficiency, and that causes nyctinopia, so you have to check the vitamin A. And we're gonna do an electrophysiologic study of the retina, even if it looks normal an ERG. So if it looks abnormal in the retina, you still have to do the ERG. If it looks normal, you still have to do the ERG because we're testing the electrical activity in the retina. And lots of degenerative retinal disorders cause night blindness, like retinitis pigmentosa and the whole umbrella term for genetic and sporadic retinitis pigmentosa disorders. However, you got to be thinking about vitamin A. And then, then we have acquired retinopathies that can cause this predominantly melanoma-associated retinopathy and cancer-associated retinopathy from the neoplastic and paraneoplastic, paraneoplastic autoimmune inflammatory retinopathy and cancer-associated retinopathy. So in addition to melanoma, we got cancer, usually small cell carcinoma of the lung. And on the ERG, the CAR is usually a flat ERG versus the MAR where they just have no B wave. So no B wave in MAR or flat in CAR in these perineoplastic autoimmune inflammatory retinopathies. So you got to know a little bit about nyctinopia. But think about vitamin A, cancer, and non-cancer. So the non-perineoplastic autoimmune inflammatory retinopathies do an ERG.